Good morning, you guys. Well, I don't know if it's morning over there for you guys, but as of right now, it is for us. And uh, today, we are going to be putting on the header for the Matrix. So yeah, she's gonna get a little more rowdy, sound a little bit way, way better than what she sounds now because she's completely muffled. I is currently lifting up the car right now, lifting the front end, because that's all we gotta do. So on the Matrix, we don't gotta touch nothing up here apart from just probably the exhaust itself. And then that's it. So we could take all that ugly stuff on and go ahead and put on our DC header. Remember on this one, if you buy it, this is for this. The Civic is definitely not gonna fit. You're gonna have to buy the 2ZZ flange, get, cut the old one off. And if you do it yourself, make sure you bolt down the flange and then weld over it so that way the, the <coughs> header doesn't, or doesn't warp or the flange so that way you could get a nice flat, you know, seal over the exhaust you don't want any exhaust leaks but yeah this is the dc uh header that we are going to be putting on trixie had it before we got the ppe and then now we got the dc header back again for the matrix that is today's uh thing hopefully we make it in time so that way i don't have to drive an open header uh matrix that's gonna be loud so yeah let's go ahead and uh start taking everything off so wheels have to come off yeah, we gotta finish the time, cause exactly that's why I said so. I'd have to be driving the. Yeah, but you didn't say why. <coughs> I'm pretty sure you guys would know why the car gets stuck open header. Is the muffler shop closed? But yeah, we gotta make it to the muffler shop. We're gonna not rush, but try to at least be fast and precise doing all this stuff. Make sure everything goes great, and then you know we could take it to the the muffler shop, get it done, and then. Ew, what the hell? I got scared. And then uh, go ahead, take it, and hopefully see how she sounds, and then punch it so that we can see lift. Here, wheels are now off. All I gotta do now is go ahead and start taking off these these guys right here. All these three, take these guys off so this control arm can go down a little bit. And then from there, we're gonna have to take these guys off. We're gonna have to loosen up that guy right there. We have to do a little bit of things to drop this cradle from the front down to then be able to take off the old uh, header and then put on the new aftermarket one. Quick little update. Right now we are taking the cradle off. We just finished taking everything that we need to take off. The rag opinion is loose. Everything is loose. Right now we're just trying to figure out what is getting the uh, cradle stuck because we can't... It's not coming down. What if it was this? Um, hold on. Nah, it's not this, I doubt it. But yeah, we're trying to figure out what's getting this, uh, the cradle stuck. So that way we can actually bring this down and start taking off the header and putting on the DC. The motor mount? The motor mount? Yeah. Okay. So let's go get that little bar. But yeah, little by little, almost there. So we could take off the old one and put the new one on. All right, so the cradle is down. Look how nasty it is. The car definitely needs a little wash. Yeah, it needs to get pressure wash. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take that guy out and this guy as well. So we could pressure wash him. I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the degreaser on. So hopefully it breaks up all that uh, gunk. And yeah, and it should be cleaned up. So it definitely need a wash. Little insects were building a house back there. But now we have all of this room available to go ahead and start taking off the header. so look how much cleaner this cradle looks got a lot of the heavy oil off a lot of it is stained up some rust around the areas but nothing too bad just a little bit of surface rust other than that it is so much better looking way cleaner and now we get to see where oil leaks out. i know the main seal on the matrix is bad dad found that out the main seal is bad so whenever we do a head whenever we go ahead and do a clutch upgrade that's going to be one of the things that we do there you go now you guys can see me that's one of the things we're going to do is the main seal. So that way we get no leaks. We want no leaks. Trixie's already leaking. We don't need this one to be leaking as well. So yeah, now let's go ahead and get back to what we were doing with taking off the old header and putting on a new one. 
Oh, just finished off taking this piece of the exhaust. This is now officially off. That is now finishing up the rest. It was super rusty. He is uh, up here. Let's see. Let's see with the flash. Let's see. Oh. Guys, to finishing off taking off that piece, and that way we could go ahead and put on the header. So once he is done, you got the top ones already. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Oh, so, yeah. Get back to you guys whenever we he finishes that. Alrighty, so the old one is officially off, and look at the size difference between the DC and the factory. The runners are super. <laughs> the runners are thicker, way thicker. Uh, that was so small. So, so I think we did the opposite. Where this is light, that's heavy. So we're adding more weight, but a return of more power. But no, yeah, look at the difference though. It's it's insane. And then the exhaust is officially off now as well. And then we have these pieces right here. So what's this? This is a straight flow resonator. Yeah, for the motor. We're gonna replace the motor. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, what is that missing? Ow! Ow! I'm trying to put it on the bag. I don't want to put it on the floor. But and then, then we got the exhaust tip right there as well. So these two are the, the new pieces that we're gonna be putting on as well as the exhaust, which is gonna be, that's what? Two inches, right? Two and a half? Two and a half inch, so it's gonna be a two and a half inch exhaust compared to whatever this was. I think this is two inches. Two inches. Let's see, we're gonna do some some mathing around here. That one should be two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so two and a half. And then this one was this is like one. Uh, almost, almost two inches. All right, so not bad. So better airflow for the back, especially it being NA. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I was taking a picture. That's how the wheel was like this. I'm gonna tag the the wheel company. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. So these are gonna be the two new pieces. This is definitely gonna change the rear end to look quite a bit because it has a nice little like shiny tip. And then the sound obviously is gonna be different. She's gonna feel a little bit better now. And then. You know, once it gets a little flash tune, once it gets a little flash tune and things like that, that's gonna be pretty fun to do. I guess it's gonna stay at the RPM where it's at because that's oh, great. The, one, the, the computer on this can be replaced. That's okay, we'll buy a Corolla one. Only the, the Corolla. We'll and get for the, that you will have to replace the whole harness on the engine. That's crazy. So never mind, we're stuck being slow. And if the leaf engages at 6,000 RPM, which is what the reflash does, brings it down to 6,000. Alright, so the gasket is coming off just because I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this copper exhaust maker or gasket maker for the exhaust and I'm going to put some over here just to give us a better seal and things like that so we don't have to worry about any exhaust leaks if there is any so just to be safe and you know just do everything right the first time I'm going to go ahead and put some around here on the gasket as well as on the head and then from there just you know be good to go put this back on then go to the header do the same thing on the header put some on the header then put it on tie it down bolt it hopefully put it, everything should be good to go we should put everything else back and once everything else is back up go straight to the muffler shop and hopefully they are open so that way i don't have to drive this car for one day open headed that's going to be pretty loud uh the corolla was loud when we did it last time and yeah so that's going to give me a headache so yeah go ahead do this get this out the way and then go to the header pick it up and go ahead and put some on and yeah see you guys whenever all this is done all right so the gasket and header have silicone put on as you guys can see dad's putting on the the bolt and nuts that so for the header so we can put them on got it dad's hands all cut up <laughs> mm -hmm. i just see that's why they when they were we say sweat blood and tears that's exactly what it is <laughs> that was him taking off the well, o2 people would, people the sensor. Would appreciate a, a car that people buy from the factory better than one that you feel just a, yeah but yeah, so now that's gonna be put on. Uh, see you guys whenever we finish this, so we can hurry up and put on the cradle and hopefully, like I said, make it to the muffler shop and things like that. Right now, I'm just kneeling on the the engine bay. Alrighty. So as you guys can see, the cradle is now on. Dad's just tying up his side.
is all good. Now we gotta do is just go ahead and put on the control arm with this. Oh, it's already aligned. All right, so gotta do is just go ahead and put on the three fourteens on there. Uh, rack opinion is tight. Nope, never mind. I gotta go ahead and tie that one and that one right there. But we gotta do that last. So we're gonna those two. Can't forget to tie up. Other than that, just go ahead and put the bolts on on this guy, and they're right here, right next to me. So. It doesn't reach. Let me go ahead and put the phone down real fast. All right, guys. So the car is officially. <laughs> Wait, I got. There it goes. Gone. All right, guys. So the car is officially now on the floor. Woo! I don't even know. So uh, early. It was like around eight or something or nine. So three hours. Three hours to do all this. Not bad. So DC header is officially on. Wait. Look at that. We got so much more room now between the back. All right. So she's officially on the ground now. Uh. I really don't want to sit in the car because I don't know if I'm dirty or not in the back. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to go ahead and change my pants so I don't stain up the seats. So let me come right back and then give it the cold start. And uh, yeah, it's going to be loud because this isn't the first time we have an open header 2ZZ in the garage. I changed you because yeah. you're dirty. You're dirty. You're dirty. All right, let's hear it. Sounds like a race car. They get outside. Alright, turn it off. Remember, we don't got power steering fluid, so I don't wanna, we don't wanna burn up that, that pump, so. But yeah, open headers right now, but we're about to drop it off at the muffler shop and have them do the rest. And yeah, pick up our steering we'll be back and see how she sounds. It's all empty right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, alrighty guys, yeah, once we get the muffler all done at the muffler shop, we will update you guys. Alrighty boys, we got ourselves that peak. Blue Mountain power steering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's top of the line. Sheet. Top of the line stuff right there. So, yeah, I was going to get some of this. This is just for now. We made it back home. So, let's go ahead and start filling this bad boy up. Put some of this uh, peak Blue Mountain power steering fluid in, uh, in here. Uh, I can't do it with one hand. So, let me go ahead and uh, use both. And we were also talking about how we needed to uh, flush the power steering fluid because it's actually pretty dark, as you guys can see. And well, look, it, everything played out, and uh, wow, this thing doesn't actually have a, like a cover or anything like that. Great. So, we are now in the car, and it is loud. Very loud. So, I'm just in second gear right now, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's super loud. That is right behind me. Uh, we're heading our way now to the muffler shop. Making our way now to the muffler shop. And well, I'll see you guys once we make it there because for me to be talking uh, with this sound and everything like that is going to be extremely loud and hard. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> What's up you guys we are finally here at the muffler shop we got the matrix here it is extremely loud my ears are hurting because and especially after just that that little pull that i just did right there it is loud and slow right now so so yeah but shop we got the elantra here with us and then the matrix is here with us as well so yep hopefully they could uh do this little guy and get her done so that way so that way the neighbors don't get mad at me because of uh you know uh it's gonna be extremely loud every morning all right so you guys sadly the car is gonna have to be done tomorrow so she's oh, at least i'm not taking this one tomorrow to worry i'll be <laughs> taking this one or because mom's off so yeah she stays at the house and tomorrow they're gonna be working on her so yeah i thought you we were gonna get her done today bro it's time to drive back home and have a headache <laughs> it's loud so yeah i gotta go to the gas station because she's almost out of gas so yeah 
quick gas station trip, filling up the car, and of course you gotta take that premium. Nah, I was just talking to the video. Stop by, there we go, now it's gonna let me put some gas. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Uh, quick gas station. Oh, this is a fun pretty car, I like it, I like it. It's just right now it's too loud, it's giving me a headache. But man, I really wish the muffler guy told us that, hey, we can't do it today, you know? Like, cause he said he could've, but apparently not, not on Mondays. Apparently on Mondays they don't work on exhaust. So that's a, that's good to know now. I wish we knew that sooner. I'm gonna put 20 bucks on it because that's it. 18. 18. Let's see if we can get a perfect 20. Oh wait, oh I stopped it at 90. <laughs> no. Elantra. All right, time to wake up the beast one more time. Where's the keys? Oh, it's in my hand. There you go, my hand. There you go, race car, race mode activated. It goes dead in the Elantra over there. <laughs> All right, guys, it is now the following day, and the car has been already done, so the exhaust and everything is that is back on, or back on, but now it has been done. So the resonator, and so from the re the factory resonator back, all of that is straight piped until it goes to the end, and then it has the muffler, and then from there, it has that little three-inch exhaust tip at the back, but yep, we got the car. There she is right behind. Go ahead and show you guys exactly what I am talking about. So the car is back. I have still not turned the car on, so I don't know exactly how it sounds. Dad told me it sounded really good. So there is that little three inch exhaust tip. There is the new, I think, I believe that's just a, no, that's the muffler right there. Okay. And then from there it goes all the way straight piped all the way to the factory resonator. And then from the factory resonator, all of this just goes here up to right there. But yeah, so we got the car back. I actually can't wait to uh, see how it sounds open the cold start. So it's set already what, for a whole day. Uh, dad left around four. So yeah, it's now, I believe like, yeah, it's 9.22 a.m. right now. So let's go ahead and start the car up. Let me go ahead and get the stance so that way you guys can get the cold start up. So yeah, let's do that. I'm not even gonna say that I'm surprised that I already knew the car was gonna sound quiet. It sounds better than from factory itself. So yes, it's gonna sound a little quiet like this, but once we actually drive it and things like that, you'll be able to hear. It's just like Trixie. Trixie was completely straight piped and was super quiet until you actually drove the car and punched it and then lift activated. That's when you would really hear the exhaust but it does sound way better than factory so i really like the way it sounds it sounds really good it sounds a little louder not extremely loud nothing like that it has a nice little tone to it but i'm gonna let the car warm up so that way i could give you guys a little revs and then that way you could actually hear the the car itself so but yeah as of right now i like the way she sounds nothing too crazy it sounds perfect you see it has a little bit of noise so that sounds good it sounds good at least i have a little bit of noise and it's not extremely quiet like it used to sound be before i should have actually turned on the car revved it a couple of times with the factory exhaust and then do the same thing so that we could have a side-by-side -side comparison but i totally forgot but it's okay so you could just go back to one of the old videos uh, i think whenever i said the matrix was burning oil that video we gave it a couple revs so you guess you could hear it from there but now that the car's warming up and things like that let me go ahead and give you guys a couple revs so we could actually hear it Yeah, that sounds perfect. Like I said, that does sound really good. I like the way it sounds. That's great. Uh, I think one of the wells is actually. Yeah, look. Uh oh, he did it. He didn't seal that one correctly. I don't see anything else leaking except for that one. But I was dripping some water, so I didn't. But. Nothing too major, so it's just that small little water leakage right there. I guess that didn't really get welded up pretty good, but 
Uh, that really shouldn't affect anything because it's all the way in the back as long as everything else is actually welded correctly from the resonator and it's because this is far away from the the actual exhaust itself or the header so we really would not lose any performance or anything like that from just that small little leak right there let me go this way so that with the sun you guys can actually see me but yeah so other than that i actually think it sounds really good i like it i like it a lot uh hopefully i want to now i want to hear it whenever driving and things like that my dad said that it doesn't sound bad it sounds actually really good it's bearable it's nothing too loud not raspy nothing like that it sounds so smooth because remember we want to keep this car as smooth as possible we want it to sound good look good drive smooth because she is going to be the daily driver for me so i could do the photos and things like that and then yeah you know we want to have a good daily driver since sister's taking over the camry now but hey at least i got me another 2zz it is gonna be the daily driver so yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah i mean she is coming out really really good i mean i'm i'm happy with this car little by little she's getting there to the point where we want it obviously we're still far from done with this car as well as the corolla but you know i want to do a couple things outside wise some things with carbon, things like that would be pretty cool to do on this car, just so you know, it keeps it from looking already apart from all the other matrixes around. Just it being an XRS is already different enough, so that's great, but yeah, we can make it do some more. Let's see, we'll see what we do in the future with it. We don't know what's gonna hold, but we'll see what happens with the matrix, and hopefully, like I said again, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss any more updates on either the Matrix, Corolla, or any of the other cars like the Elantra. So, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Oh.